touch with some triple digit heat for some of these inland spots. So you can see here on Live Mega Doppler 7000 HD, we still have some monsoonal weather that's moving through the region. Not too much happening for us yet, but that will pick up a little bit, it looks like, as we get into just really the next few hours later this afternoon. I'll put Live Mega Doppler 7000 HD on pause, and you can see for our region, not a whole lot. There are some showers that are happening up near Bakersfield. And there might be some spots where we don't get the brief heavy downpours or the rainfall with the thunderstorms, meaning it could produce some dry lightning, which could spark a fire if we don't see some lightning strikes associated with some rainfall. So we have this red flag warning that's in and up toward the Santa Clarita Valley as well. Excessive heat watches are in place for the valleys and Inland Empire now, and we also have the excessive heat warning that is in place for the low desert. And that will be all the way through Monday night, and then we might see some of these areas get extended because we're not going to see relief in sight uh, quite yet until we get into about midweek next week and the end of next week. So temperatures are all very warm. We have plenty of cloud coverage out to those eastern areas. Some areas expected to get a little more sunshine today compared to yesterday, but we do see plenty. Get your heavy duty 100% cotton Balco PC t shirt like these guys. Just send your HD video, and if you use it on our channel, you get a free shirt. Show. Excessive heat watches are in place for the valleys and in the Empire now, and we also have the excessive heat warning that is in place for the low desert. And that will be all the way through Monday night, and then we might see some of these areas get extended because we're not going to see relief in sight uh, quite yet until we get into about midweek next week and the end of next week. So temperatures are all very warm. We have plenty of cloud coverage out to those eastern areas. Some areas expected to get a little more sunshine today compared to yesterday, but we do see plenty of cloud in the afternoons as we head into the weekend and into next week. High pressure near the Four Corners region. It's spinning up some of that monsoonal weather right into SoCal here. It's kind of just missing. It looks like we will see some activity for us, too, in the next few hours. This is looking at about 1 p.m. Now, the models don't do a great job at picking up on the monsoonal weather, so we'll see what happens. But either way, you see some showers that are in our surrounding mountains in the deserts, and then that could really drift off anywhere into the valleys, into the Inland Empire, closer to about 4 p.m. this afternoon. Still looks like we might see some thunderstorms firing off in some of these areas, and then we get into tonight, and we start to calm down. And then we get into this weekend in our train off tomorrow, still there through the rest of the seven-day. It'll get weaker Sunday into Tuesday, then next Wednesday, midweek next week, that monsoonal moisture is expected to pick back up. And for the deserts, 20% today, a little less this weekend. We'll probably add it back into the forecast next week. Either way, very hot, so just make sure you do your best to stay cool out there this weekend, Philip. Okay, Brianna, thank you.